We will discuss the difference between manually scheduled tasks and auto-scheduled tasks in this slide. A task can be scheduled manually or automatically. When you enter a new task, it is added as a manual task by default. In the case of manually scheduled tasks, you need to enter the duration and start date of the task. The finish date is calculated according to the duration entered. Manually scheduled tasks can be used when a task has specific requirements with respect to dates. You can manually schedule tasks in order to accomplish the date-specific requirements and later switch to the auto schedule. In the case of auto scheduled tasks, you need to enter the duration of the task. The start and finish dates are calculated automatically. The start date of the first task is by default set as the project start date. It is ideal to enter task duration instead of start or finish dates to appreciate the auto scheduling features. As the project manager continues to enter more tasks, link them, and assign resources, the start and finish dates in the project plan get adjusted automatically. If the project manager directly edits the duration, start date, or finish date of an automatically scheduled task, the task will switch to a manual schedule mode. In the next slide, we will learn about the project outline. While creating a task list, the project manager can create a project outline by grouping tasks. Tasks are grouped as summary tasks and subtasks. The screenshot of software development project is displayed as an example on this slide. Related tasks are grouped under an appropriate title. This title is called a summary task. In Microsoft Project 2013, Summary tasks are easily recognized as they are in bold. A summary task encapsulates the details of all its subtasks. A summary task consists of several subtasks. In Microsoft Project 2013, subtasks are indented below the summary task that they belong to. The expand or collapse arrow next to a summary task can be used to expand or collapse the outline. Microsoft Project 2013 automatically generates the project summary task. However, it does not display the project summary task by default. In the next slide, we will discuss how to create task dependencies with links.